the most powerful and dangerous psalm prayer in the Bible, may God Almighty bless you. Today, I want to talk to us about a topic that many of us encounter in our lives. Enemies. These can be people who oppose us, situations that threaten us, or even inner struggles that feel like adversaries. We all face challenges and conflicts, and it's important to remember that we are not alone in these battles. Enemies can manifest in various forms. Physical adversaries, who may seek to harm or undermine us. Emotional struggles like jealousy, anger or resentment that can feel like enemies within our hearts. Spiritual attacks that aim to weaken our faith and steal our joy. In Psalm, David cries out to God for protection and deliverance from his enemies. It's a powerful reminder that we can seek God's help when we face opposition. David understood that while he faced tangible threats, his ultimate source of strength and deliverance was God. Psalm 59, 1, 2. Deliver me from my enemies, O God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who work evil and save me from bloodthirsty men. David's plea is raw and honest. He acknowledges the reality of his enemies, but also turns to God in faith, recognizing that true deliverance comes from him. Now let's take this moment to pray, using the words of Psalm 59 to guide us. Heavenly Father, as we come before you, we acknowledge the enemies that we face, both seen and unseen. We ask for your deliverance from those who oppose us or seek to harm us. Lord, we ask for your divine protection against those who seek to harm us. Keep us safe from the plans of the wicked and guard out hearts and minds. We trust that you are our refuge and strength. Help us to recognize the strength you provide and the peace that surpasses all understanding. We declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We choose to trust in your power to fight out battles. Let's continue with verses 3, 4. See how they lie in wait for me. Fierce men conspire against me for no offense or sin of mine, O Lord. I have done no wrong, yet they are ready to attack me. Father, we come to you with our concerns about injustice. We may feel surrounded by those who misinterpret our actions or intentions. Help us to remain steadfast and to trust in your judgment. Verses 10, 11 says, God will go before me and will let me gloat over those who slander me. But do not kill them, Lord our shield, or my people will forget. In your might, uproot them and bring them down. Lord, we ask for your justice to prevail. We know that you see all and will act in your perfect timing. We pray for those who oppose us, that they may turn from their ways and seek your truth. Verses 16 17 declares, But I will sing of your strength. In the morning I will sing of your love. For you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. You are my strength. I sing praise to you. You, God, are my fortress, my God on whom I can rely. Lord, we lift our voices in praise for your unwavering strength and love. You are our fortress and refuge. May we always remember to sing of your goodness, even in difficult times. Let us remember that while we may face enemies, we do not face them alone. God is our protector and our deliverer. Let's commit to seeking his strength and guidance in every battle we encounter. Heavenly Father, thank you for hearing our prayers. We trust in your protection, guidance, and justice. Help us to remain faithful and to sing of your love each day. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.